children to the online class of science for class 5. Chapter 2 The Skeletal System In the previous classes, you have learnt about the skeletal system and the different parts of the skeletal system like the skull, the backbone, ribcage, girdles and limbs. You also studied about the structure of bones and cartilages. Now, today's class, we will start with joints. The place where two bones meet is called a joint. A joint may be fixed, that is immovable, slightly movable or freely movable. The joints between the bones of the skull are fixed while the joints between the vertebrae are slightly movable. The bone in a joint are held together by ligaments which are thick elastic band of tissue. We will discuss the various types of joints. The first type is pivot joint. As you can see in the figure, in this type of joint, one of the bones rotates within a ring-like structure formed by the other bone. This allows movement around an axis. This type of joint is found between the first and second vertebrae. It helps you to move your head up and down and side to side. It is also found in the arm where the radius and ulna meet at the elbow. You must have seen that you can move your arm at the elbow sideways, isn't it? So this is a pivot joint. <coughs> Next type of joint is hinge joint. This type of joint allows back and forth movement. Similar to the opening and closing of a door. And that's why the name hinge joint. Like the hinge of a door. Okay. Which allows it to move back and forth movement. This type of joint is found in elbow, knee, fingers and toes. It allows you to fold your arm, bend your knee and to bend or flex your fingers and toes. Hope you have understood this. Next is ball and socket joint. In this type of joint, the rounded edge of one bone fits into the hollow end of another. This allows the bone to be moved in nearly all directions. This type of joint is found in your shoulder between the humerus and the shoulder bone. It is also found in your hip between the femur and the hip bone. This is the reason that you can rotate your hip that is full leg nicely. You can also rotate your shoulder nicely fully clockwise and anti-clockwise because this type of joint allows you to move nearly in all the directions okay next type of joint is gliding joint this type of joint is found between the flat surfaces of two bones that are held together by ligaments the end of the bones can slide over each other thus allows side to side as well as backward and forward movement this type of joint is found in your wrist and ankles along with the other joints. Okay, hope you have understood. That's all for today's class. Next class, we will continue with the chapter. Till then, take care. Thank you children.